we heard, heard you. you. All right, we're doing the open shelving. We love the idea. Uh, we, we go through all the comments and we saw how many people really love the idea for the open shelving. So that's absolutely what we're going with. The people have spoken. Let's go. I don't trust. Oh. And the special guest is... What's up? Woo! Do you guys recognize this face? If you don't, you should. Yeah. Travis, should. young retiree by 33? 33. 33! Yeah! Excited! What do you think of the place? It's beautiful. I, I remember, I, it's been so long since I've had a dishwasher, I miss having it. It's that. not hooked up yet. Okay. <laughs> it's good. But it's there for show. And he brought us some wine because we're working on the dry bar. And we just realized we don't have a wine opener. Oh, so. hey, we just got like a microwave and a range. So bear with us while we get our kitchen utensils in here. So how are we opening but this? Maybe this will be like a hack in the cookbook. Did you see that? Oh yeah. I I'm like kind of serious about this. And a lot of you out there like actually really like the idea. So we're going lag bolt, wine bottle opener. And DeWalt's coming in with the win again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fruit Woo! Arctic <laughs> dogs living with that addiction pack. <laughs> Write that one down. Should I do it like with a towel? <laughs> oh. oh my God. Got a little excited there. That'll be mine. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't pour it that way. Another tool. <laughs> Multi-talented. You gotta have a lot of tools in your tool belt. Good job. That one works too. It does work. I'm gonna keep this one in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> or a bottle opener, I guess. That's it? You're done? You're leaving us? I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Are you coming back next week? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You guys gonna golf? We're gonna play some golf next week. Want some golf content? Oh, wanna, pre cool. wanna pretend Dude, like you're GM yes. golf? All right, listen. If anybody out there golfs and wanna see some golf content with me and Travis, you gotta let me know. We will definitely throw maybe some <laughs> some snippets in there. Um, I would love oh, to be able to show you some golf content. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming over. Thank you guys for having me. It's great seeing it. Yeah. We got sucked into just hanging out with Travis and not doing any work last night. And then we went out to dinner and lost track of time and went to bed. But we're back. We're working on this open shelving. I picked up some more stain samples. I'm very excited. Kyle already thinks that he needs to run back to Home Depot and get another 2x4. And that's like very on brand with us. So we will see. Kyle's going to run Home Depot and get the extra 2x4 that he needs. And I'm going to try out all these scenes because I have no idea what color I want to do. I kind of feel like I'm doing a beer flight. All right, what do you guys think? One, two, three, four, five, six. You killed it on our last decision. You decided on open shelving. So which one of these should we go with? Which color? That's not a two by four. It's not. It's a two by three. And they're lighter. That was the one thing I was really nervous about because I'm gonna in the past, I have made like framing that I then made a hollow shelf and slid it over top. Um, this one, I'm gonna make the whole frame and then just tack the framing up to make it look like a piece. So I'm worried about weight now. So I'm gonna do a two by three, return the two by fours. And for six of these, it was only like 13 bucks. So that's a solid deal. That looks sick. I wanna know what your favorite is because I semi know what mine is. 
I guess we gotta wait for them to dry now. Part of me wants more options. <laughs> okay, so you don't really like any of them. I don't know yet. If you look from back here, what color do we want? <laughs> Tough choice. Huh. Which one do you like? Like, I like the second one in. But that's a little like, like natural pine. And then I semi like this one. Like this was the first one that I saw that I liked. Mm -hmm. I think it goes good with the color in here. Since I'm not building the shelf and then sliding it over, I'm gonna build the frame, mount the frame, and then wrap that frame with the pine. So let's start making that frame up. Tight quarters down here, tight quarters. Fancy, fancy. I just gonna see how high we're gonna want them. Well, it's gotta fit like the Keurig underneath. I figure it's gonna be about like right there. I love that thickness. Well, we still have to add the top and bottom, so it's gonna be another three quarter, so inch and a half thicker, right? Well, that's not what we originally planned. So two and a half. We're looking at four inches thick mm. to add a top and a bottom. And then didn't we agree we were going to do two and a half inches thick? Yeah, because we originally said this. Yeah. But this is as thick as the framing. And my concern is like, if I cut the framing down for this to be the face, our framing is only like that thin. You know what I mean? And I just feel like that's not strong enough. I want it thinner. Okay. I understand I can't get it that thin, but can we like shave this down or rip it down i can rip down so like you see where the nails are yeah i can rip down like some of this side and some of this side and i'll just keep the nails the, in place and you think that will still be strong yeah i think it'll still be strong okay and i'll just rip as much as i possibly can to keep the integrity. integrity yeah okay this is gonna be fine ready to get crazy let go <laughs> Did that work? Yeah. You know what's cool too? It's kind of gonna like square it really nice. Yeah. It smells good. It does smell good. Hello. Much uh, better. Yeah, we were able to salvage some a good amount. So now they're they're gonna be three and a quarter. So we saved. We saved almost a full inch, ripping that down. Full inch makes a big difference. Oh yeah. I do have to, unfortunately, go back because this one, this one will work for a front. Our top and bottoms are still good. It's gonna be this one working as a front, so that's as thick as the shelf's gonna be. Which I feel like it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, we just have to get another one of these. I just have to go get one more of these, unfortunately. Okay. Um, actually, two more because I need sides too. Yeah. So, um, I need two more of these. So, I know you're going to get some wangs. They're right next to each other. So, let's take two cars. Okay. I know my love language is quality time, but I'll allow it. It's free the ball. Okay. Sound good? Yep. I think I can do that with like how people do cigarettes. Like cigarettes. Oh, that's how they have. oh. <laughs> now if only I could do it into my hat, but we don't have enough time. We had too many carbs. We will reconvene the shelf building tomorrow. Good morning. It is freaking beautiful out. And we're gonna get started on them shelves again. And Lauren, we just cut Bodie's nails, so Lauren is filing them. Scratch. Yes. Scratch. That was piss poor. Come on. Yes. Scratch. Yes. 
Scratch. What? No. That's a bad one. Scratch. Scratch. Yes. Good boy. We got that idea from our dog trainer. It's just like, what cut sandpaper is that? Like 120? I, could, I don't know. I have it. Offline. I think it's like I think it's like either 100 or 120 grit sandpaper, and uh, he just <laughs> he does well with it, and it doesn't work for like a full blown like nail cutting, but to like take it down just that little bit extra because I get super scared cutting his nails that I'm gonna like cut too deep and he's gonna bleed all over the place. It's gonna be so traumatizing. He's never gonna let me cut his nails again. So. You sound like that's happened before. It, well, we went through a, a time period where nothing ever happened to his nails. He just didn't like us cutting them. So they just never got cut. So they're like six inches long right now. No, they're not. Well, we've been working on, we've been working on like cutting shorter. No, so. they're not. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee for a couple minutes. And then we'll get back to work. We're gonna pop these shelves up and we're gonna get them completely done. And we think we know what stain we like, right? Uh, we know which stain we like most. Of the, the options that we have. Right now we're pretty partial to this guy right here. Um, we think he kind of like blends well with the floor color and also blends well with the wall color. We're trying to figure out how tall we want the shelves and we're being very strategic about it. We are thinking that the shelves need to be two wine glasses deep, which we already did. So the height of the first shelf, we did the height of our Keurig opened and then plus a few inches, so you could like open it and not scrape your hand. And then the height of the second shelf, first we were just doing wine glasses, but I've been having trouble finding a home for this decanter. So this is gonna determine our next site. So we're gonna do this plus like a couple inches. I feel like it's very like functionally strategic of us and not just go off of like what looks good, yeah? Yeah, we've done that in the past. <laughs> and that's why we do, because we've definitely learned from that, that like we'll throw a couple shelves up and then it's like, all right, great, but what- What's going here? Fit on these things now. Yeah, so now we're definitely more strategic about it. I think those are good heights. I think those are good heights, yeah. Because you don't want it, like, I also don't want it to be, like, you know, biased I'm, against short people. Right. Either. Like, I want, like, a shorter person to be able to reach this top shelf. So, you know, friendly for all heights of people. Okay, you're good? Miters, wood glue and tacks, and then we're gonna slide it in. So check it out. My hand looks like a chicken foot. This is looking so good. Sunday everyone our new video just came out today like in real time so if you have not watched our squirrel eviction video highly recommend quite funny um, but we're back at it we left you pretty abruptly last time because we may have cut one of the shelves too short like a 16th too short and so there's a little bit of anger and we were in a rush. We had to head out for a friend's um, wedding rehearsal. So we're taking care of it today. And the goal is to finish the shelving. Are we staining it today? Yeah, we're gonna do everything. Staining well, it. Well, we're gonna do the conditioner. We'll do the conditioner. 
And we'll see, I gotta read the label. I'll read it. Yeah. We'll figure it out, but this is where we're at. Nailer, please. Thank you. This one? Yep. Oh, that's heavy. It's not light. <laughs> All right, let's see if second time's a charm. Yeah, better be a charm. First thing's getting drop kicked right out the window. No. I forgot to press record, but basically yeah. after trimming, <laughs> A half a blade's length off. It fit. <laughs> and it looks great. It does look great. This is what we're working with right now. So Lauren is going to add the pre-stained wood conditioner. And basically, like, I want to use this on the pine because it's very, it's a very soft wood. And what's going to happen is different portions of the wood, whether it be grain or not grain, uh, are going to take stain differently. And sometimes it can actually like look blotchy. Like you'll see some parts are has soaked in more and it's super dark. Other spots doesn't want to soak in as much. This is so it. you use that. <laughs> you apply it and then you have to wait 30 minutes and then you can put on the stain. And that'll ensure like a even coat of stain. Um, and also, I got wood putty. So this one's early American, I believe. Early American. Well, why did we get wood putty? Because we got a new stain. And white. So basically, we're going to find what color the new stain is. Where is it? Over oh, right here. Well, we decided that we didn't really like any of these. So we just went to a store and got a new one. Yeah. It's going to look sick. It, we it got to really test nice. it, though. You're supposed to go against the grain for application like crossways, mm -hmm. and then with the grain to wipe it off. Now what if I get this on the paint? Well, we'll we got to do some touch of paint anyway, so. Okay. It's okay. So what I heard that this does is it like opens the pores to the wood to allow more stain. We're taking a little break for the conditioner to dry and I tested out the new stain that we got and I don't know like what was supposed to happen, but this is, so I applied it here and then wiped it off and then I applied it here, did not wipe it off. And this is not the color that we thought we were getting at all. Dude, the color is supposed to look like this. I mean, dude, it's not even close. Like why is this one green? Why is it green? I don't know. And before you come at us, I thoroughly mixed. They mixed it in the store. We just got it. Then I mixed it again. I applied it properly. I don't think this is user error. I think this is mixer's error because it's... Dude, I mean, that's not even close. I don't know, people. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, but it's straight up green. It is green. So either way, whether it's correct or not... Back to the stain we aisle. don't like it. Back to the stain aisle. While she's gone, I'm gonna raise this fridge up a little bit, the little wine fridge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Woo! That looks sick. So I didn't like the way that there was a big gap at the top here when I pushed this fridge in. So I just tacked together just a little platform that that's actually gonna sit on. And what I'll do is when I wrap my kick plate, I'm going to make from this end all the way to that end one piece and I'll notch to the height of under there. So it'll look like all one piece. Um, it, it should look really nice and this should be really close to up underneath the countertop. That's it. Just that little platform and it's got a nice tighter reveal around the top. And that bottom, like I said, I'll just wrap with that kick plate. But yeah, man, very good. Four more stain options. How'd you do? I think I got some good ones. Yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm still blo mind blown by that one. Yeah, I'm not very confident after this experience. That is terrible. It looks like mold. It's not even close. Not even close. So maybe mixer's error. I don't know. We yeah, maybe. See. Uh, do you want to get another piece? Oh no, piece back. There you go. Okay, we got. English chestnut. Whoa. P 
Puritan pine. Whoa, I like those two. Fruitwood. Whoa. And early American. Looks a little dark, but gotta cover our bases because I'm not doing this again. I feel like that top one's gonna look really good. What's that top one? This one? Yeah. Puritan pine. I feel like that's gonna look really good. I think it is too, but if history repeats itself, it's gonna look like shit. Oh, that looks a little dark. Puritan pine. We will see. Whoa. Hold on though. Give yeah. it a minute. And we should be uh wiping it, off. it off, yeah. How much it sucks it in. Huh? All right. All right, all right. right. Maybe, maybe. All right. Not bad. Option one. This one says fruit wood. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little light. Ooh, a little Whoa. red. I think I'm not going to like this, but let's give it a go. Oh, too pink. Too pink. I already tell. Already know. Yeah. Too pink. Let's try a little English chestnut. Oh. Whoa. All right, that's a little dark. That's very, very, like, very, very dark. Wipe that off. Let's see what it looks like now. It's making me like this one better. Yeah. Early American. Early American. Oh, not as dark as I thought, but dark nonetheless, just not as dark. Wipe him away. I feel like that one's going to look good. He's, he's just very brown. Yeah. I think I like that guy. Same. What do we think, guys? What color? Oh, I still like driftwood, I'm gonna be honest. It's between Puritan pine and driftwood. You're going driftwood, huh? I still like driftwood, yeah. I think it pulls the, the wall, the flooring in better without being like brown. Yeah. I'm just not a designer. Like picking colors. I'm good at spatial vision, I'm not good at color vision. So we think we like driftwood and we're still too nervous just to slap it up on the shelf yet. So we're gonna do this uh, big long piece of pine in driftwood, hold it up, see how it looks. And which yeah. one were we using, that, that one? Uh, yes, I cleaned that one out. And what is it? Right here, one? this one there. I just gotta give it a mix. So on the camera, it doesn't really look much different. Than that? Yeah. This one was a strong contender. This is just golden oak. Yeah, but I, I agree with that. I think it's too like traditional, like wood color. Bam. Turn it over. Mm, it looks different in camera. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like this one, the grain contrast is a little bit more mild, which I like. As opposed to that one. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so you wanna do this one? All right. Ooh, I already regret it, but let's make it let's make it happen. So start mixing. We have a correction. It's not golden oak and pickled oak. It's actually Puritan pine and pickled oak. Okay, make that concoction. Puritan pine. Here we go. Give that a little bite for me. Still great? Yeah. Okay. Hurry up before I change my mind. Like it looks like the wood hung out in the sun and got a tan. And that's what I like. I feel like that looks a little dark still. Shells are just looking 
I mean, so good. So good. We did a coat of poly, and uh, now we get to fill it up. I'm so excited. Like, I've been wanting to, like, merchandise these shelves for so long because this is going to be a dry bar. Coffee, alcohol, all those types of, like, serving utensils are going to go in here. I'm very excited to put everything away. I am so annoyed because I don't have my wine glasses. I think they're in storage at my parents' house. So all we have are these plastic blue ones, but they will suffice. shelves somewhat organized so now we're just gonna pop open a new bottle and go sit on the front porch for a little bit fortunately this one's twist twist cap twist cap twist, twist, off? twist off a twist off because we still don't have a wine opener i need a knife oh never mind i thought that foil went over the whole thing bro your hair you look like an emo uh <laughs> we just showered Good thing about plastic. You don't want one of those beers. You don't want one? I think I want to try one of the beers. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's for me. I think I'll take the PJ's glass. If you guys get to Jersey, or if you're not from Jersey, when you come here, you gotta check out Icarus Brewing. It's in Lakewood. They've got a, a beer called Yacht Juice that is unbelievable good. Um, this one's drinking crayons. I haven't had it before, but it looked pretty good. It's got a good color to it. I feel like we're about to tell a scary story. <laughs> there is like not many things better, honestly, than like at the end of like any physically taxing day. Just hitting the front porch, with a cold beverage and just relaxing because the night sounds are just like, there's nothing better. Thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with us. We love having you with us and we're going to have some huge projects coming up soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And just thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you coming along with us on this. Absolutely. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>